Okay, folks, it's Patrick here. Well, today I'm going to make a sandwich, but it's not any old sandwich. This is a, called a banh mi, and it's a traditional Vietnamese sandwich. Now, when I say traditional, there's 10 million different varieties of them. But the one I'm going to do is going to contain leftover roast pork, courtesy of my wonderful mother. Thanks, Mum. And um, these sandwiches have also, oh, look at this. I've got my Vietnamese rolls. Six of them, probably won't eat all of them. I've got some, um, some of my favorite coriander, or as some people call it cilantro. Other, actually, I don't know if they're the same thing. They're very similar though. I love the taste, so there you go. Got these spring onions or green onions, um, carrots, Cucumbers, chili peppers, and some uh, some pickled uh, stuff in there, cucumber and stuff. I've got a video on that where I made some previously. Maybe I'll leave a link to it, or maybe I won't. Um, got lashings of butter. See that? This is going to be good, folks. Oh, and one other thing: pate, liverwurst. That's going to go on there too, because I love this stuff. I can eat it just like this. But I'm not going to this time, I'm going to put it on a sandwich. So anyway, folks, let's get on with making this barn me. Rightio, folks. Well, now we've got uh, the roast pork here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, chop some of this up and chuck it under the grill to get it nice and crispy. And I'm just going to slice it up just like this. Doesn't this look fantastic, folks? I just can't wait to get stuck into this barn me sandwich. And look at this, I've even got some uh, some of the pork skin, some of the crackling there that I'll chuck in the grill as well. That'll be absolutely delicious in this sandwich. Can't wait for that. Look, I even found a bit of bacon. Don't, don't know what that's doing there. What do you think of that, Mark, hey? Eh? A bit of bacon. So um, this is all gonna go under the grill and uh, let's get on with preparing the rest of this sandwich. Righto folks, now I'm going to make a special mayonnaise for this delicious barn me sandwich and this is one that I'm trying to copy from Charlie Pickles over at Pickles Barbecue. He does a fantastic barn me sandwich, I'll leave links for that, you've got to go watch it. And he does this amazing, uh, well mayonnaise dipping sauce thing that goes perfectly with this. As you can see, I'm using some mayonnaise here and we've got some... Um, hoisin sauce and then we got some soy sauce and some chili sauce i think charlie uses sriracha but that's all right i don't have that i've got some some of this hot chili stuff we'll use that and this is going to be uh, well i hope going to be absolutely delicious and sure enough i've had a try of this and it is superb you've got uh, all the flavors there you need the combination of uh, those four sauces is perfect and now We've got the liverwurst. Oh yeah, I love liverwurst. smell this gorgeous roast pork folks. I'm going to layer that on there. There we are. Get that crackling on there. Little bits of crackling here. A bit of bacon, why not, eh? Chuck that on. Mm-mm. Let's get on some of this sensational sauce. Drizzle that over the top. Not too much. Remember, you've got that pate there, you've got everything else going on. Let's get a few chilies on there. Oh, yeah. This is pickled cabbage. Actually, it's pickled coleslaw. Get some of that on there. 
It's got some jalapenos in there too, so this is gonna be a bit spicy, folks. Cucumber. Got the carrot. Those spring onions, I might put them on here because everything's starting to fall all over the place. And finally, my favorite, coriander. I'm going to put lots of coriander on here because I absolutely love this stuff. And the stems, I don't care about any of that fancy stuff. You chuck it all on there. There we go, folks. Now that is a barn me. Well, my version anyway. Where are you now? I'm waiting here. Sing for me, sweet lullabies. Right, folks, the moment of truth. Let's try this barn me. Mm. The roast pork, folks. Delicious. It's got a little bit of leftover gravy on it. The coriander, cilantro. Those pickled cabbage and other things on there. The pate, the butter. Oh my God, this is so delicious. And that sauce of Charlie's. Charlie, your sauce is unbelievable, mate. In fact, dribble a little bit more on there, I think, because it is so tasty. Mmm. Ah. Oh. That hoisin sauce with the mayonnaise, I've never tried that before. It is delicious. A bit of chili sauce, a bit of soy sauce, all mixed in there. It doesn't overpower it. I'm gonna love this. Oh. If you've never had a barn me before, folks, now's the time to go and try one. Absolutely delicious. Go and check out Charlie's version. His is unbelievable. Mine's just a make it up as you go along job. But as Charlie says in his video, this sandwich is great for leftovers. There's lots of different varieties of this. This happens to be mine. So I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. Take care out there, up there, down there, out there, wherever you are. I hope you're all safe and well. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you get the chance. That would be really awesome if you did. And until next time, I'll see you later.